Hello everyone, today I want to make a video talking about everything that happened this past year. Uh, 2020 was full of twists and turns, and I want to thank everyone who watched my videos. Uh, so let's just start talking about everything that happened this year. Okay. Looking back, 2020 was a pretty good year for video games. I made a lot of videos for them too. Pokemon, Dog and Rampa, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and Smash Brothers. I, I believe, I do believe Fire Emblem is the core of this channel, and I always upload stuff from summoning, to builds, to uh, plus 10 videos, and all that stuff. I, I really enjoy doing those, and hopefully, and, and even the battles, I hope those get, uh, those are like the core of my, my, cent my central focus, and I always try to just do stuff in Fire Emblem. Uh, but we also played a lot of games this year, a lot of a lot of new games, and I had a lot of fun playing Bravely Default and Smash and and especially Danganronpa videos. Danganronpa, especially, um, was was good. And I always, I mean, of course, I like Danganronpa, so yeah, I really like Danganronpa this year as well. So compared to 2019. Uh, I had just started doing summoning videos, and we did the big Fire Emblem Let's Play. If you guys haven't seen it, that was when I did Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, the Blue Lions run, and then I also started some of my first summoning videos in Fae. And those videos were from 2019, and I really liked those videos. They were, that, that really set the foundation for what 2020 was going to be like. And I genuinely think that 2020 has been a real step up from 2019 like I did a really good job of of taking what I learned from 2019 and improving upon it in 2020 so I, I want to pat myself on the back for uh, making from from evolving from what I was and making more videos that uh, have more dynamics have more structure have more editing and uh, are generally just better videos. And I just think I, I've made a lot better videos in 2020. And uh, I think, you know, even though the, the, the Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play was really special, I enjoyed that a lot. I think 2020 had a lot of really solid videos and I'm really proud of what I've made so far uh, and just in general this year, so. So from this portion of the video onward, I'd like to talk about the good things of 2020 and the bad things of 2020, you know, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons that have come out of this COVID-19, out of 2020, out of uh, myself and how, how things have gone, the positive and the negative. I do think the first positive of 2020 was the video games. We played a lot of games the the video games were good and like i'm talking about uh tokyo mirage sessions i'm talking about some of the games i played in my spare time just not even on oh like assassin's creed valhalla i really enjoyed that game uh, as as i made a video about that uh i really enjoyed playing Rampa v3 this year it was really good i played Rampa 2 at the beginning of january it was really good i think you know i played some games on switch and those were good too so 2020 video games have been okay and uh, have been really um really good experiences in their own rights and i played them on, on different consoles and different uh all sorts of different things so it's been a pretty good year for video games been it's always been good to be a gamer we got you know new dlc characters for smash and minecraft and smash which is really cool so it still feels like a dream so the, 20, uh, the 2020 video games were pretty good this year. The gaming market was really good this year. Now, here on YouTube, one of the other positive things that have happened this year was the beginning of Trash Taste Podcast. See, Trash Taste Podcast began in, like, July and June of this year, almost six months ago at least, so probably June, and it was the podcast, the anime podcast, started by Joey the Anime Man, Sea Dog VA, uh, Connor and Gaunt and Giguk UK, I guess his name is Giguk. So yeah, they, they all work together to make the anime podcast. I really watch, I watch, I didn't expect to like tune into every episode, but I do. Uh, Cause I, I am a very big heavy guy when it comes to podcasts. I watch at least four different podcasts or three different podcasts. So 
putting uh, the Trash Taste podcast or adding the Trash Taste podcast this year was something I did really easily because they're just really entertaining people. So Trash Taste podcast was really positive, uh, was really was something that was really good this year, you know. <sighs> now, one of the negative things about 2020 was the anime viewer experience in 2020, which is always a big meme this year because no one's fucking watching anime this year. In the beginning of June, and you know, in the beginning of this year, yeah, we were excited for the winter season and stuff, but when it came about fall and summer of, when it came to the summer season, none of us were really caring about the anime season because there weren't many anime out. And I think that's just kind of the thing is the anime viewer experience in 2020 was that there was, there was limited shows, there wasn't much to do. And I actually want to point out something specific. For me personally, you can say whatever about your own experience watching anime this year. It's probably been amazing, hopefully. There's a lot of good anime that I want to watch right now, but I can't. And here's the thing about being an anime viewer in 2020 is that Kiss Anime has been shut down. Without Kiss Anime, the the, the free, you know, the piracy website that everyone uses to want to view their anime for free um, was shut down. And so all of that, all of that easy access to anime just doesn't exist anymore. You have to go to different websites, all these, uh, all these popular other websites to just watch your anime. And, and like, the thing is, am I supposed to pay for my anime now? Yes, I probably should, and I probably will. But for now, Kiss Anime's deletion has really just shortened my anime viewing. Like, without Kiss Anime, I don't really watch as much anime anymore. All I do is, you know, go on YouTube and watch anime YouTubers, right? So, that's kind of a, of an, un, that's the unfortunate thing about being an anime viewer this year. And how the, that kind of came around and has been kind of sad, but, you know, I've just been watching less anime this year. And that's just kind of the thing I want to point out there. So that 2020, I've watched a little bit less anime than I usually do. <sighs> One of the surprising positives that came out of this year was the incredible takeover of VTubers. The, basically, the VTuber revolution that happened in about September of this year was was the rise of VTubers uh, coming onto YouTube and gaining a mass popularity among everybody as the clipping channels and their streams just go through the algorithm and they go burr and they always appear in your recommendations. So um, I also started getting into VTubers this year as Hololive Ian launched. And as you guys know, my videos do talk about Hololive people. So go figure, I do like the Hololive Ian uh, girls and I like the streams and I've also been just getting into more independent VTubers as well So I've really fallen down the hole and uh, So, you know the hollow I like Yeah, coming into 2020 didn't expect this to happen, but here we are in December and I'm like man I'm in the hollow live hole. So right now I don't have you know as as like I lost kiss anime stopped watching as much anime but now I have more time to watch Hololive, and I've just been watching more Hololive in, and I've been I've been spending a lot of time checking out what's going on in the community and all of the VTubing scenes. So, su surprise, surprise, 2020 uh, <laughs> oddly created a breathing community for the VTubers, and I hopefully it stays that way they're really entertaining and i'm really happy to be part of the hollow live community so let's just keep on going and hope that uh, vtubers don't die too soon and i'm sure i could list off more positive and negatives but right now i can't think of any so let me know in the comments down below what you guys uh, thought were the positive things that happened this year and what were the negative things that happened this year uh, Write a comment in the comments down below. Tell me what you thought was good and bad and I will check them out uh, and uh, hopefully I'll read them all in the comments. So thank you and uh
quest and to seek life beyond the shore just out of reach yet the waters ever change